guys, so I'm currently on my way to the hospital to get a surgery done. As you can tell by the title, I am getting a cleft lift because I have something called polynatal disease and there are also polynatal cysts, but I've had it once before when I was really young and um, I guess it's kind of just grown as I've gotten older. Um, the first time they just drained it, but this time we're doing like a complete surgery where we literally remove the skin, remove everything that's inside of the cavity, you know. I'm gonna be under most likely general anesthesia and they're gonna cut my butt open. And yeah, so I have a list of questions. So I have a list of questions to ask the surgeon. Um, just like an FAQ type thing. And yeah, we're gonna basically go through this together. We're gonna experience it together. Um, and I'm gonna document the, the process afterwards and all of that stuff, so. Also, I wasn't able to eat since 12 a.m. this morning and it's already 11, so I haven't had anything to eat since then. But anyway, it should be a pretty short and successful surgery, hopefully. I'm kinda nervous about it, kinda anxious about it, but God willing, it'll all go well. My mom is coming to be there, and my husband, obviously, is gonna be there too. Um, but he's leaving, actually, so I'll be with my family the entire week, so that's that's good. We are here. So we are now, now in the bed. Yeah, this is happening, you guys. I'm nervous. Okay, bye. See you guys very soon. Um, so how long is this surgery? About 45 minutes. Um, and I will be unconscious? Yes. Will I be laying down on my stomach before I fall asleep? No, they'll put you to sleep first, yeah. and then once you're completely out, we'll put you in the position. They come me over? Okay. Will I wake up on my stomach? No. Okay. You probably won't remember anything until you get to the recovery room. Will you remove the contents of the cavity? Yes. Can you save those for me so I can see them? Mm, I'll take some pictures. Okay. That's I good love, enough. I love cysts. I love that's fine. Um, okay, so after surgery, will I experience discomfort from the incision in the future? Um, once you recover. Will it alter the shape of the crack area? Will it be crooked? Because I've seen crooked ones. For the most part, they end up still pretty much looking like a butt. Okay. Um, and and you'd, some people have asked me if it ends up looking like a wall. Flat, like that, and it really doesn't. It, it really still looks like. Okay. Okay. Like but the actual like crack will it be like straight like it is now, or will it be slightly? Yeah, it's uh, it's usually straight. Okay. Awesome. Will it most likely scar? Um, you will have a scar in the skin, but usually it heals pretty well. Okay. So, fine, it's fine. Uh, so I read I can't shower. Is that correct? That's correct. Right. Until the drain comes out. Okay. How, this is a big worry of mine, how will I be able to use the restroom? Same way you do now. Okay. And, and everybody has that concern. Um, you just go slow, okay. <laughs> slow movements um, as far as sitting down, standing up. But mm -hmm. it, it, things will work the way they do. Now, it's very common for people to get constipated. This is a little bit of TMI, but I haven't had a bowel movement since I last ate. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. Um, and how long is the recovery? Meaning what? Um, from the time that you know, now until like I'm fully better, I can do everything and anything that I want to do. Somewhere between two and three months. The restrictions that I gave you, those last for two months. Okay. When can I sit as normal and will I need to sit on a donut? You don't. Some people get a donut. You don't have to have one. You can sit today okay. until it's uncomfortable. Today it's not going to take very long. Is there a certain way that I should sleep? Whatever's comfortable. Okay. When can, I, when can I begin doing photography again? Um, like bending down, kneeling, everything else? The, the bending, squatting, deep bending, those restrictions last two months. Okay. Um, things not so severe, not all the way down. Mm -hmm. You can do whenever you feel it feels okay. okay. But pain really is going to be your best guide. And if you do something, whatever it is, if you do something that really hurts, mm -hmm. that's your body saying no. This is a little bit of um, um, uncomfortable asking because what, so when can I be sexually active again? Um, you know, nobody's ever asked me that. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's probably.
probably gonna really be the same answer when, when you feel comfortable okay. doing that. And you're gonna be uncomfortable pain for a little while. Mm -hmm. There's gonna be drainage, the drains in, and then even after the, after the drains come out for a little while. Yeah. So that's probably gonna play some role in it. Right. But I think your comfort is gonna be the biggest guy. What should I absolutely avoid um, during recovery time? Um, just the, the deep squatting, mm -hmm. the deep bending, and then um, things like jogging, swimming, that, that motion. Okay, and if something were to go wrong, um, you know, like worst case scenario, like the, it, if something opens, um, what should I do in that case? Just call me. Okay. Right. Right. And some things may seem like a big deal if it happens, mm -hmm. when in the grand scheme of things it's not that big a deal, but I would rather you call me and tell me what's going on. So that I can cut, say, that's not anything to worry about. I'll see you at your next appointment or we'll make another appointment. Um, I can talk you through a lot of things. Okay, that sounds good. That's all I have. Okay. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Hey guys. I'm now all uh, cut up. I'm laying in bed. I just woke up. Well, not just. But um, I feel amazing. This is like cloud nine with some pain in my butt. I'm just drank some apple juice for the first time in like, I don't know, 13, 14 hours. That was good. I'm sure it's <coughs> my butt be hurting now. Um, yeah, what I remember was that we were in the recovery, I mean, in the first room, right? And like, they put that the medicine in the IV that like the first one. Oh, that was that's a smart thing to do because like I wasn't stressed out. I just was exhausted. And um, <coughs> they're rolling me. I was just like laughing because it's just was so funny. Like I couldn't control my laughter a little bit. I felt so good. And then uh, <coughs> they put the oxygen mask, and then he told me that they were gonna put the they like was breathing like the air for the anesthesia, right? They didn't even count me down. <laughs> I just like fell asleep.